Australian is one of the few sports in the world where you can't practice and train like you do when you are in competition. You're limited by time and testing and of course money. It's also one of the sports where you have to be adaptable changing between surfaces and in this case gravel and tarmac. Or snow. It's like anything. The more you do it, the more natural it becomes. Heck, it's taken me 22 years to get to this point. A bit of patience doesn't go astray either. Here in New Zealand we learn the art of rallying on some of the best gravel roads in the world. But if you want to develop as a driver, the best way to do that is to branch out on different surfaces. You'll develop tenfold. To begin with, you need to be competing in as many events as possible to help speed up the learning process. If you were to prioritise events when you're beginning, it should be about quantity, not about the size of the event. It's all about time on the seat. So if you want to take things to the next level and be competitive at national or international level, you need event experience. And to do that, you need to be doing rallies once or twice to be competitive, to learn the stages, to learn the nature of the roads. Mentally, it's tough to take a back seat and forget about the results and learn, but in the long run, you'd be much stronger for it. Remember, rallying is a team sport and you can lean on the people around you and their experience to help you learn quicker. Also, building a relationship with your co-driver is key for the future. Speaking of experience, we're now going to one of the rallies that we have the most experience of in the World Championship, Rally GB. It's where we first did our international rally uh, back in 2007. This will be our sixth or seventh time, so we've got good experience. We haven't quite been able to put all the pieces of the puzzle together to get a good result there, but we're hoping to do that this year, and we're gonna give it our best shot. So we'll see you there. Follow us here.